We are so lucky to have lots of food carts right here in our area. And in this week's Northwest Grown, I'm showing you a food cart pod that's not just about the food, how it's also aiming to bring the community together while shining a light on the neighborhood. Core PDX near Southeast 82nd and Powell, just off Lafayette Street, aims to be a foodie destination that's also the heart of this Portland community. When we started this, we want to make sure like in this area, you may not get all that stuff and we want to bring that over to this yeah. area. Now, Henry Ho and Mandy Ko see their vision is real. Yes, we kind of want to provide that variety, but then we also had to think about how it would fit into our Pacific Northwest. Meaning a welcoming space, no matter the weather which is why CORE has an indoor area with air conditioning and heating. The couple also thought about how to best serve families. And then the amenities like restrooms were very crucial for us because we've had times where we went to food car pods and we're like, we need to change the diaper. What are we gonna do? And then we run to our car and it's raining <laughs> and it's cold and our kids are freezing. So that kind of brought the whole thing of how we wanted to create this atmosphere. An atmosphere that elevates each of the small businesses here. Everyone deserves, you know, a, a little bit of spotlight because everyone's doing such unique cuisines mm -hmm. that we want to make sure everyone sees that. And quite the spotlight for first time food cart Sue's. For years, Sue Se Chow's been selling his food at local events and markets all around the region. Me and we are from the mountains of Laos. I'm Mian, so like uh, we don't really have a real cuisine, kind of like a melting pot, so like uh, we just kind of take every little bit of every different uh, um, cuisine and just match it together. And I do a little bit of everything, I make tacos, burritos. But Sue is best known for his salt and pepper squid. I have a big uh, sign up there that says best pepper salt and squid in town. <laughs> That's from the customers, not from me. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, stuck with it and ran with it. He and his wife Susan Cha hope their business will keep growing from here. It's definitely been a goal of his to, to um, you know, make his own food, make, make it known, and this is a good start, so we're hoping to expand in some way. As for CORE as a whole, Mandy and Henry are already expanding how it's used by bringing in musicians, dancers, and hosting cultural events. And that's what's so great is that we're trying to really bring communities together through this work that we're having done. Um, and we kind of want to provide our space to kind of help, you know, spread awareness about our community, about the people that live here, because we are also part of this area. What's happening inside is being embraced just outside these doors, too. We had neighbors that basically, if they saw any trash left behind, mm -hmm. uh, they Littering just Littering outside up. the property. Yeah, so there was like actually like a whole community of it, grabbing the pickers uh -huh. and walking around. We have a strong community, and it's because we don't have a base for people to come and gathered. That's why no one really noticed how strong this community is. But now we do. Yeah, they are so proud about how they're bringing this community together. By the way, another small business that's getting a boost by being at CORE is Heyday Donuts. If it sounds familiar, as we showed you last year, Heyday does pop-ups all around the area and will soon get a permanent place at CORE later on in the spring. You know, I really like that indoor space, Liz. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, because they get it. They, are, they live here in the Northwest, so the weather changes. They want to adapt to the customers, too.